UTRGV men's and women's basketball back on the court while baseball is back on the field for their first practices of the season. A senior makes a big impact in a new position for UTRGV volleyball. And for the second year in a row, UTRGV women's golf gets an import from Morgan State. All that and more coming up inside this edition of V Nation. That's V for Valley, V for Victory, V for Vaqueros. This is V Nation. Hey everyone and welcome to V Nation, I'm Jonah Goldberg. It was a big weekend for the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley men's soccer team. After dropping its first ever WAC contest 1-0 at Grand Canyon, the Vaqueros embarked on a stretch of three straight matches against teams either ranked or receiving votes in the top 25 poll. First up, an upset of the defending WAC champs. Down goes UNLV! The Rebels were receiving votes in the top 25 poll going into the match, but UTRGV comes away with a 1-0 victory. Timu Varakalio with the game winner during a scramble off a corner kick in the 35th minute. Leo Castillo made five saves for his second shutout en route to WAC Defensive Player of the Week honors. Signature win for UTRGV. The way the boys worked hard from the first to the last minute against a very, very tough opponent, UNLV, um, you know, not only ranked right now, but uh, the former uh, conference champions from last year, they made it very tough for us, a very strong team, so very proud of the boys. We're now about midway through soccer season, which can only mean one thing. It's almost basketball season. This past Friday, NCAA Division I men's basketball teams across the country started a stretch of 30 full team practices in 42 days. UTRGV men's basketball among that group. We have full coverage with Alina Garza. UTRGV men's basketball is officially underway as the team stepped foot on the court for the first practice this past Friday. The Vaqueros are getting ready and are excited as ever to be back in the season as each day is one step closer to their first game. But it feels great to be back with this new team. A lot of hard workers. I mean, this team is real hungry. We're, we're a bit more mature than last year, have a few more seniors, more juniors. So, I mean, it's exciting, real exciting. Osborne is one of two seniors that are leading their teammates as they pave the way and get the excitement level ramped up for the start of their season. As a senior, I mean, that's, I've been here before. I mean, this is nothing new. I had a year under my belt, so it's my duty to be a leader on and off the court. Um, lead defensively, offensively, vocal. Get the new guys in line and uh, get ready to win. But before the games ever begin, Coach Dan Hipsher must first get the team back to basics. It's, it's all fundamentals and uh, then, uh, you know, starting to teach uh, some of your style of play. But uh, a lot of fundamental work early and, and we're putting a, a ton of emphasis defensively right now. With the first game rapidly approaching, Coach Hipsher already sees potential in his young team. I think these kids are willing and able to learn and uh, it's a competitive group and, and a spirited group. And so they're, they're fun to work with and, uh, you know, the, uh, the grind starts today. We're on the front end, so it's a lot of fun right now. UTRGV basketball has started off with great spirits with a lot of motivation. The Vaqueros have only a few weeks to prepare until their start of the season on November 13th. Reporting for V Nation, I'm Alina Garza. And while the men have 42 days for 30 practices, NCAA Division I women's basketball teams have 40 days to complete 30 practices. And that started this past Sunday. Michael Aguilar takes us out to the first UTRGV women's basketball practice of the season. Go. Go. I, I see in my returners and Shantae Goff, I see just a wonderful leader. Same thing with Raquel Preston, just a great leader. Hilda Carson's daughter, great leaders. And those three have really are, are difference makers for our team. And with them leading the way, we're gonna get we're gonna get better. Uh, for our newcomers coming in, uh, Mary, Mary Savoy is a dominant player. I mean, she is a dominant player. Michelle Hyman, I think, is going to be a great defender. I think Sika Kuz can really do a lot of things. Bernie, Bernicia Peters. I mean, those are some freshmen that have caught my eye. But overall, I'm pleased with my whole group because they're working hard and they're doing what I ask them to do. We 
we have a chance to be pretty good if we take care of the basketball. The main thing we got to do is take care of the basketball because when we do, then we, we're pretty good shooters and we can make some good things happen. I can envision us playing 94 foot defensively, man-to-man -man pressure and up tempo, and wow, we, we have some speed and some athleticism. Well, I hate to compare anything to last season. I mean, this is this season, and we're going to continue to push the ball, and we're going to continue to defend, and we're going to we're going to fight you till hell freezes over, and then we're going to fight you on ice. I felt like we, we did a lot of things right. You know, we've been working on some of our uh, motion offense since summertime, and we haven't really got a, got a chance to kind of put it all together. And we came in here and we worked hard, and everything was flowing in the right direction. I'm, it's going to be a great season for us. We work on it's the same things that, 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 that we worked on last year, but even better because, you know, obviously we fell short. So we need to, this is this, right now, this is our time to put it all together. We got new team, new people, new, new spirits, new attitudes. But what I like about this team this year is, Almost everyone can shoot it. Everyone can shoot the ball. And, and, and that's, I know for a fact that that's what made Coach Tillwell happy. So if Coach Tillwell is happy, then I'm happy. So I, everyone comes in, everyone works hard. So, and it's just, it's just a great feeling, you know. And it's, it's a lot of new people, but right now we're just focusing on us. We're not focusing on other people. We're focused on what we need to do to get better. This year we have three new captains and I'm one of the captains. So it's a lot of pressure, a lot of, uh, a lot of things expected out of me. But if I want to win and, and I want the team to be the best, then I have no problem putting the weight on our shoulders. I know our captains rock and Hilda don't mind putting the weight on our shoulders and we're just going to carry this team. Uh, lately I've been working on, you know, trying to dribble, dribble down the floor and just pull up. Hopefully I can, because I'm kind of a little bit fast, so hopefully I can like kind of like slow it down and so I can really get into the rhythm of my shooting. I feel like that will help the team a lot. The basketball teams aren't the only ones having fun out there. In fact, four days before the men's basketball team and six days before the women's basketball team ever took the court, the UTRGV baseball team, despite not having a game until February, got to start full team practices. Now let's head out to the fresh cut grass and the ping of the bat. Well, it's, it's, it's extremely uh, exciting. Obviously, uh, the fall practices are special. You get a new group of uh, players, and you're trying to uh, mold them and show them how we want them to play the game. So uh, we have, spirits are high. The enthusiasm is high. Um, the only thing we need to do is make sure we keep that through all of our practices. The anticipation during the summer after the season that we had, uh, it built up, having new guys come in, you know, and uh, really getting that 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 mentality going that we're getting ready for practice. So it's, it's, it's a great feeling that we're actually back out here. You know, it's nice to uh, finally get back out here. Um, finally got all our gear and everything. I mean, it's nice to have full practice. I mean, hitters working hard, pitchers working hard. I mean, it feels good, especially a long break, you know, summer. Summer, uh, you don't really get to come out here that much. I mean, it's a lot about working out and everything. So, I mean, it, it feels pretty good. I think the biggest uh, thing that we want to accomplish is obviously that team gelling. Uh, obviously, getting to know those guys, getting to know how everybody plays, how each pitcher pitches, you know, uh, situations, what guys think, and trying to get them all on board to the UTRGV way. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing that we want to accomplish. Getting better every, each day. Um, I mean, we're making some pretty good progress so far. Um, also, I mean, trying to get that chemistry going. I mean, we got a lot of new guys. I mean, I'm new this year. This is my first year here. And, uh, you know, it's been nice getting to know everybody and uh, just enjoying it, you know, just enjoying uh, the team atmosphere. We got a lot of coaching to do. Uh, there's, some, there's some talent, but again, uh, they're coming from, you know, different places, different systems. So we have a whole, you know, a lot of coaching to do. But the intensity uh, I and mean, the enthusiasm um, and the uh, want to learn attitude have, uh, have been good. Everyone, everyone here has the same goal, and I mean, it's to uh, win ball games, you know, win ball games and get better. I mean, that's, that's what we're here for, and to bring a championship ultimately. So, I mean, uh, it's just. Uh, a lot of progress so far, and we've been, uh, we've, been, we've been doing well. The great thing about having so much practice time is that it allows you to get used to new things. This can be very important if you have to make a position change, but sometimes you just have to do it on the fly. Coming up inside V Nation, 
we show you how one senior is taking advantage of an opportunity to try something new. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to winning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others. Just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn. We compete. We inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley volleyball team entered the season with some certainty in a number of positions, but the one that was up for grabs was libero. Casey Sanchez is a senior in her third year of eligibility after missing most of last season due to injury. Sanchez has always been an outside hitter, but last week the Vaqueros asked her to try being the primary initial passer as the libero. And despite a short amount of time to get used to the new position, Sanchez responded exactly the way you would hope a senior co-captain would. It was a great experience. Obviously, it's something I had to get used to, but I'm enjoying it every moment. I'm working hard wherever coach puts me, so it's a great opportunity, so I'm taking advantage of it. It's something we just we just threw it in on Monday, so we haven't had a whole lot of time in this rotation, but um, she did some great things tonight, and, and she did great things all week in practice, and that was kind of, you know, we threw it out there on Monday, and then we saw a lot of promise out of it, so we went with it tonight, and I think it's going in the right direction. One thing's for sure, the experiment worked. With Sanchez recording a career-high 30 digs Thursday against Missouri-Kansas City, the most by Eddie Vaccaro this season. I mean, I guess there's some things I still need to improve on, but I'm going to continue working hard, and I'm just going to keep taking it from here on out, so just keep pushing myself forward. You know, it limits us a little bit on the outside, but we just feel like we have to defend a few more balls and, and those kind of things. Uh, but her being able to pass all those rotations lets us put Boyana back on the outside where we can get her the ball a little bit more consistently and you know just does some things take some pressure off of Alex of playing six rotations and uh, we just felt like it was the right thing to do at this point. Although the experience was new Sanchez is already in the right mindset to improve as the libero going forward. It's just always having to constantly pass and not worrying about playing front row or hitting or blocking so that's a new adjustment but I'm getting quite used to it already so feeling good. You know, coming off her injury, something she worked hard on over the summer, uh, knowing that that might be a possibility that she was going to be limited to just defense. So she worked all, hard all summer to be like, I'm going to be the best defensive player I can be uh, if that's the situation I end up with. And, you know, that's why she's, she's so important to our team. It's one of the reasons she's the captain, because uh, she's, she's an unselfish player. Uh, and you need some of those, and, and she does a great job at it. You know Sanchez played well against Missouri-Kansas City. As a team, there were ups and downs, but there's one sequence you just have to see. Third set, UTRGV down 11-19, when Alicia Watson gets elementary on the Kangaroos. Comes up with back-to-back -back hills, it's a six-point set. Then, after an error and a timeout, Megan Dempsey, on her birthday, it turned into a 5-0 run. A few serves later, it's 1720, make it 1820. Another kill for Dempsey. The Roos get the next two points, but that was all. First it's Dempsey, then after an attack error, Watson serves up an ace. Two hours later, look at this angle by Haley Dura. That's unreturnable. And so is this. Bojana Mitrovic caps a 14-3 run to close out the set. It's the first wax set victory of the season for UTRGV and the bright spot in a 1-3 loss. Oh, that was amazing. We had so much fight in ourselves, and I think that's just going to carry on for the rest of the conference matches. I think that's the first time they've, they've done that in a while, you know, and, and I think it was a good building moment for us. We just got to find a way to be more consistent with that. You know, we felt like we missed some chances in set one, 
uh, you know, a couple of rotation errors and, and a couple of close line calls and, and we're up 1-0 and it changes the tone a little bit. But, you know, for them to come back and fight and get a match that, that we haven't done yet this year and we haven't really done it in the past here. So I think that's a, that's a promising note and, and this is a good UMKC team they did it against. The Caros closing out the weekend against Chicago State and Boyana Mitrovic gets them off to a good start. And then Alicia Watson follows suit. The Vaqueros led 3-0 out of the gate. Now we're tied at nine when Mitrovic throws it down. Now watch this. It's Haley Durham with aces not once, not twice, but thrice. Three of a career high tying four aces for Durham. Later on, set tied at 24, but Megan Dempsey is ready for a break. Comes up with back-to-back -back kills to end the set in favor of UTRGV, 26-24. Second set. Either team led by more than one until 15-13, and the first three-point lead right here. Dubravka Vakoya had a career high 43 assists to go with two kills. It's 2017. Now it's set point, and Dempsey and Alexandra Ecker take care of business. 25-22 Vaqueros, UTRGV leads the match 2-0. The third set was tight most of the way as well. The Vaqueros lead is 21-20 when Watson gets tired of waiting for Sherlock and just solves the case herself. Three kills in a span of four serves to propel UTRGV to a sweep of Chicago State. We felt like this was a match that, you know, we had kind of start on, on our calendar that was a must-win match for us. So I thought the girls came out and played well. That puts a little bit of ad, added pressure on them because we talked about those kind of things, that the pressures on the other side of the court when when in those matches that maybe we're not favorites, but in the matches that we're favorites, uh, the pressure falls on us. And I thought we did a good ha job handling it in, in some close sets. Want to get rewarded just for tweeting, Facebooking, and Instagramming about UTRGV Athletics? Maybe get bonus points for checking in at home events? Now you can. Download the VFAN Rewards app on your smartphone today. It's a free download, and you can earn points to win prizes such as backpacks, hats, shirts, water bottles, and more. Need more information? Then log on to vfanrewards.com. Right now, Jessica Young is a women's golfer at UTRGV. In a few years, however, she wants to be a teacher so she can go out and inspire the world. Next Inside V Nation, we get to know UTRGV's latest import from Oregon State. One of the newest members of V Nation is Jessica Young. She grew up in Gold Beach, Oregon, just a four hours drive from Oregon State. And sure enough, after establishing herself as one of the best players in the state, Oregon State coach Risa Alexander recruited her. But by the time Young started school, Alexander was at UTRGV. Fast forward one year, so is Young. And as Romeo Villarreal reports, it didn't take Young long to buy into UTRGV's mantra, we will inspire the world. What got me playing golf was I got hurt in eighth grade. I used to play softball and I got hurt and my friend was like, well, if you can't play softball, then come play golf. And I was like, who plays golf? I'm not going to play golf. And then I started playing it and I just fell in love with it. Oh, I was terrible. Um, <laughs> I was not good at all, but I had like a kind of a temper from playing basketball and golf really like started helping me with the temper and then I got better and I was like, oh, I could be good at this. And then I started taking it seriously like my sophomore and junior year of high school. It was definitely different like not having a team and being on your own because, you know, if you're having an off night in a basketball game, you have everyone else to pick you up. But if you're struggling out here, it's all you. So I, yeah, I think it was hard like for me to like figure out that I have to depend on myself like nobody else can help me. I think golf teaches you who you are because you know like you can be struggling with something outside of golf and then you know out here you can't let that affect you you have to you still have to play like your game and I think that shows a lot about you as a person if you can go on without letting outside things bother you. I think having developing patience out here will um, help you in a classroom because I know with my major and a bunch of five-year-olds like they have like an attention span of like nothing I mean it's like 15 minutes and you got to move on 
and you have to be able to control that, you know? And so I think having patience out here really helps. And then uh, the fact that we have to understand things so many different ways and uh, so many different ways that you can learn, which I think is what helps you, you know, in like the education, helping kids. So not every kid learns the same way, so you have to help them understand. I've always wanted to be a teacher, but growing up I wanted to teach high school math because I really liked math. And then uh, as I got higher in math, I figured that that wasn't for me. And so then I, my senior year I helped out in a kindergarten class and I don't know, I just really like the thought of being able to impact kids' lives and being like one of their main educators because I remember my kindergarten teacher till this day and so that was kind of why I want to teach kindergarten. I was probably like eight years old. Everyone was like, I want to be a fireman. I want to be like, my best friend was like, I want to be the first lady to walk on Mars. And I was like, I'm going to be a teacher. I don't know what you guys are going to do, but I'm going to be a teacher. I think because they can be like role models for kids and like, if you don't have a very good home life and like your parents aren't really people that you can look up to, like you can have a teacher at school that is that adult role model that you need. I think that every kid has at least one teacher that they really connected with and really helped them become successful. Her name was Mrs. Edgar and she was my fourth grade teacher and she was just Every day you went there and she was just happy to be there and you know she was all about you learning and if you struggled, you know, she struggled, you know, like it was just like if you didn't understand something, it was because she wasn't teaching it right and she didn't take that as an answer. So to me that was really, you know, what showed me I need to be able to go help kids, like I need to be able to do that. Uh, I would definitely love to be the teacher that kids remember. I'm Jessica Young and I think that teachers inspire the world. Want to help prepare our student athletes for excellence in life? then it's time to become a part of something bigger and support V Nation by joining the V Club. You can become a member of the V Club for just $100 a year. All of the proceeds go directly to Student Athlete Scholarship, so visit GoUTRGV.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic Conference. Conference. Exciting times ahead for V Nation this week, as fresh off their upset of defending WAC champion and formerly ranked UNLV, the UTRGV men's soccer team hosts 25th ranked Utah Valley Friday at 7, and 24th ranked Seattle U Sunday at 1. UTRGV women's soccer faces the same two teams, albeit on the road. Volleyball on the road as well, visiting CSU Bakersfield and Grand Canyon. Cross country competes at Incarnate Word, and women's golf is off to Seattle. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in V Nation this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then, we play for you!
We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others. Just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference.